I made a couple videos about the crypto market being in a mania and how you as an investor are going to lose a little money in your life. It's okay because the crypto master has returned and I am going to impart all of my wisdom on you today. Just to show how legitimate I am, I will present to you my Wells Fargo dashboard showing my gains over the past couple of years from day trading crypto. This absolutely is not an altered screenshot. I am the hundred million dollar man from day trading crypto. Who is ready to learn the foolproof ways of day trading crypto to make millions of dollars? If you stay until the end, I am sending you my address because if you send me a pint of my favorite ice cream, Dryer's French Silk, then you will receive free access into my mastermind. I'm presenting to you the 12 Cornelia Crypto commandments to follow to become the $100 million man yourself. We're seeing a lot of crypto experts on social media using technical analysis. Some are pump and dumping. Some are even hyping a coin just for the clicks to try and tell you what's going to happen in the crypto market. Do not follow these people. If you want to make the guaranteed gains that I have experienced, you must follow the 12 Cornelia Cornelia Crypto Commandments to a T and do not waver. This is the most expansive and in-depth technical analysis you'll find on YouTube. Let's begin. Number one, Bitcoin rises when the Kansas City Chiefs begin winning. I noticed this trend back in 2017 and I wrote it to $100 million. In September 2017, the Kansas City Chiefs started their season with five straight victories. If you look at the Bitcoin charts, it was right around September 2017 that Bitcoin started to explode. From November 5th to December 3rd, the Chiefs lost four straight games. I knew at that time that the peak was near. When the Chiefs are hot and Patrick Mahomes is throwing from the ground and throwing no look passes, you go all in on Bitcoin. When they start losing, then you know the peak is almost here and you need to sell. I did just that and timed the market perfectly. What happened in September 2020? That's right, the Chiefs started their season on a four game winning streak, so you know what I did. That's right, I took money and went all in on Bitcoin and kaboom, my bank account rose as quickly as I do around a UFC ring girl. But what happened on February 7th, 2021? That's right, the Chiefs lost the Super Bowl in front of millions of people. I knew that the peak was near. Sure enough, I timed it perfectly again when I exited my Bitcoin position just a couple of weeks later at the peak. Number two, when there's a new president elected into office, you buy Ethereum and you hold. Let's go back to January 20th, 2017. What was important about that day? Trump's inauguration took place. While America was fixated on watching this event on their television, I snuck into my Coinbase account and secretly purchased thousands of Ethereum tokens or coins or dollars or whatever they're called. Ethereum was $10 back then. I was thinking to myself, I could go get a rub and tug or I could buy a couple Ethereum. It was so cheap back then I could do both. I bought and I bought knowing that a new president triggers a huge rise in the demand for the coin. I actually did not sell my position in Ethereum as I wanted to hold. A new president was going to be elected in four years so I knew it would spike again and people would yearn for the days when ETH was $10 a coin like they yearn for the good old days when you could buy gas for a quarter and people had some respect for the elders. What did we have in January 2021? That's right, a new president. I didn't buy at the bottom, but once Biden got inaugurated, I knew it was time to go all in on ETH for a month. 300% return in a month? Easy and predictable. Number three, whenever sports gambler turned crypto expert Vegas Dave tells you to treat crypto like a wifey and not a hoe, you sell. All right, I'm gonna break down crypto for you guys out there in lame and simple terms. Pretend Bitcoin, for example, is a girl that you wanna date, a girl that you think is hot. This is day trading advice because you need to be in and out of your positions as quickly as you run to the restroom after eating from the overrated California burger joint. Haha, -ha, just kidding, West Coast friends. Stop panicking. Treat it like a first date. Say you think this girl's hot as fuck. You finally ask her out, you're excited, you take her out, and she fucks you the first night. When you think about her, you're gonna kick her to the curb because you have no respect for her. If you go on a date with her three, four, five, six times, and then she gives it up, then what? That's your wife. That's a long term investment. So treat crypto like a first date. Be patient. Vegas Dave made this video seven days ago. Since then, Bitcoin has dropped nearly 11%, Ethereum 3%, Cardano 10.5%, Dogecoin 17%, Internet Computer 23%, Solano 23%, and XRP 10%. Treat crypto and have patience with it. Remember, if it puts out on the first night and it goes up the first day, it's garbage. Vegas Dave is someone I look to for life advice because he knows sports gambling, how to provide analogies between my investments and women, and now he's a crypto expert. Remember, if the girl puts out on the first night, she's a hoe. If you buy Bitcoin right away and it doesn't go up, because you're impatient. Treat crypto 
like a future wife. I was watching this video from Dave and knew immediately that I needed to sell all of my holdings because I knew all the thirsty men out there would be selling their positions too, looking for a wifey. I'll buy back in when he tells me that crypto should be treated like a back alley hooker and dumped immediately. Number four, look for crypto fake gurus pitching their course. Whenever you find a crypto guru telling you that they were talking about Bitcoin for years, even though there's no proof, then you know it's time to not buy Bitcoin. No, no, no. The biggest gains are from starting a course on buying Bitcoin. I've been saying it for years now, seven years to be precise. I've been saying it since 2013, actually 2012, that Bitcoin's gonna be huge, it's gonna be big, you're gonna make money from it. And here we are, 2020, and Bitcoin, nothing comes close to it. This is crypto expert Anna Mako. Even though she's never publicly talked about crypto, she is now letting you know that she was always privately into crypto. We make incredible returns. So if you're wondering, okay, yeah, pandemic, terrible time, but still, we're able to make a lot of money. Whenever the fake gurus start popping up, you know the money is in selling the course and not buying the coins, which is why my course titled How to Treat Altcoins Like a Ho and Bitcoin Like a Housewife will be available soon. If you think my course is trash, then you're definitely someone that treats altcoins like a ho and not a wifey. Number five, whenever news starts to break that France is going to close their schools, you go all in on XRP. If you visit France, you'll hear people saying c'est la vie all the time, which translates to buy XRP. It's important to understand because you first need to know which coin to buy, but the most important thing to understand is when to buy. On March 31st, 2021, some important news broke. French President Emmanuel Macaroni on Wednesday announced a three-week nationwide school closure and a month-long domestic travel ban as the rapid spread of the virus ramped up pressure on hospitals. On that day, I stopped working on my hoe to a housewife Bitcoin course and bought all of the XRP I could because I knew the French would be hanging out in their house telling everyone to buy XRP. I was able to buy at 55 cents a coin. Just two weeks later, I sold the coin for $1.73 and more than tripled my money. Easy money, or as they say in France, l'argent facile. Number six, when Jake Paul tweets about yummy, your profits are about to be juicy. On May 16th, 2021, Jake Paul tweeted, whoever's selling yummy, we laugh at you for pulling early, then buy that dip. Since that tweet, there has most certainly been a dip in the price of yummy coin. For Jake Paul fans, they bought in when the hype was at its peak. But not me, I knew what would happen when a pump and dump scheme was being initiated on social media, so I shorted Yummy Coin. That was the easiest money I've ever made. If you ever witness a pump and dump scheme, you short whenever the social media influencer makes a post about the coin. You make all of the money on the way down and then you use that money to hire a lawyer to sue. Because crypto is an extremely regulated environment where pump and dump schemes most definitely cannot take place. Number seven, whenever a coin with no utility is going up and up, then you buy because it won't ever go down. You don't just buy, you go all in and hold. And seeing that it's always been higher every year than the year before, why not would it continue to go up, even if it was slowly, but given the jump from one cent to eight cents back to two cents, it just made me feel like, okay, it went back down to two, three, four, and wasn't gonna go back down after that. So I was like, this just seems like it's got a greater, it just seems like it's got a greater chance of going up than going down. I live in Las Vegas, home of an entire street of casinos where you can gamble your life savings away. There's a new and more profitable way of gambling that will yield significantly higher returns. Unfortunately, this is my one major loss in my days of crypto trading. I was enamored by this guy who really knew how to trade cryptocurrencies. He released this video on May 4th and using his technical analysis of a coin always going up and up and just holding until it goes up again, I decided to invest in Dogecoin. A couple days later on May 7th when Doge hit 71 cents a coin, I figured I hit the jackpot, but the coin has tanked since and I'm down around 58%. This has been a tough loss as I win 99% of my trades, so I just don't know what it's like to lose. If there's anything we can learn from this lesson, it would be to invest your life savings into a coin before it explodes, not after. Number eight, when Washington Wizards guard Bradley Beal gets hot, polka dot heats up too. On December 23rd, 2020, I saw that Bradley Beal dropped 31 on the really talented and defensively strong Philadelphia 76ers squad. I had heard some rumors on my super secret crypto forums that when Bradley Beal gets hot, Polkadot starts heating up too. I decided to try my luck. I put money in Polkadot on the 23rd. I was able to buy it for $4.99 a coin. A couple nights later on the 26th, Beal scorched the magic for 39 points. I doubled down and bought more Polkadot for $5.21 a coin. Then magic actually happened. The coin took off and I made more money than a plastic surgeon in Los Angeles who services Instagram influencers as clients. But Spencer, how do you know when to exit your position? I detail these secrets in module four of my turn those ho altcoins into a Bitcoin housewife course. We know 
know that when Beal starts cooking, that polka dot heats up too, right? Near the end of the season, Beal's Washington Wizards were looking like a first round exit waiting to happen. When the Wizards season ends, there's no more polka dot magic, so speculators exited their positions in the coin tanked. Easy to predict when you follow every lesson in module four titled spanking altcoins like the hoe that they are. Number nine, you have three months following a Jamie Dimon quote to capitalize on a Bitcoin surge. JP Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon says Bitcoin is a fraud that will eventually blow up. Blow up it did. Jamie said this in September 2017. I knew the crypto world would love seeing the Wall Street Titan proven wrong, so they hyped the coin to the peak in December 2017. That gave me about three months to enter and exit the Bitcoin market. If you remember from step one, I was already big into Bitcoin because the Kansas City Chiefs heating up. I doubled down and I now had two indicators showing me when the peak would be. I was able to exit right at the top of the peak. On May 27th, 2021, Jamie Dimon said buyer beware on cryptocurrencies. That means you have about 90 days to pump up your coins and then exit. 90 days from now puts us at September. Consider yourself warned. Number 10, do not listen to Warren Buffett. When he says cryptocurrency has no value, you go all in. Warren Buffett got really lucky because if you look at the timeline of his life, you can see that all you had to do was buy great companies at the right time and hold for decades, and you too could be worth $100 billion. His credibility is kind of weak if you ask me. I mean, I turned $1 into 100 million in about four years. What has he done? He's 220 years old. Anyone can get rich if they're older than the entire cryptocurrency market. Cryptocurrencies basically have no value and they don't produce anything. So you can look at your little ledger item for the next 20 years and it says you've got X of this cryptocurrency or that. It doesn't reproduce, it doesn't, it doesn't deliver, it, it can't mail you a check, it can't do anything. And what you hope is that somebody else comes along and pays you more money for it later on. But then that person's got the problem. Cryptocurrency has no value. I want to prove to the world that his opinions have no value. So I bought a bunch of crypto right after that quote hit the public on February 24th, 2020. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, I bought them all. What an investment that was. Cryptocurrencies do have value, Warren. The value is in showing people that you were able to find a greater fool during a mania phase. Number 11, buy coins with the same name as a movie you just watched. Sometime in the spring of 2020, I was able to land a copy of the movie Waves, a ridiculously underrated and well put together drama. I wanted to be part owner of this project, so I bought the Waves coin, completely missing the fact that the coin and the movie have nothing in common. But I was able to buy a lot of coins for around a dollar a coin. On May 30 year later, I was able to sell it for $35 a coin. Some gurus would say 35X return in a year is amateur level during a bull run but I'm still pretty happy. What can we learn from this? Make sure to always buy crypto if there's a coin with the same name of a movie you just watched. I'm still waiting for the movie titled Bitcoin because that will definitely mark the best entry point into the market. Number 12, before the government can regulate the crypto market, you must pump your favorite poo coins to the moon by starting a YouTube channel and promoting the coins everywhere. Look, use your platform on social media to start making some money. What better way to make some money than to buy a penny stock? <laughs> Wow, 1980s joke, excuse me. A crypto coin selling for a penny. Pump it on social media that the utility of the coin has never been seen before. They're thinking of hiring developers, that's why it's a $1 trillion market cap. Imagine what it will be worth when there's an actual product. Once you have found the coin and you pump it for five days straight, you exit, you sell, you have paper hands. Only boring investors hold. You buy low and sell super high. Come on, they teach us this principle in basic investing class. I'm the $100 million crypto man and I just gave you the principles I followed to make all of my money. Now that you know the secret sauce, make sure to evaluate your favorite crypto experts on social media to see if they really know how to analyze crypto trading. If they don't follow the 12 Cornelius crypto commandments, then they have no idea what they're doing. My only concern is I made all of my money in a massive bull market. Do my strategies work in a downturn? A downturn? <laughs> what is that? Crypto only goes up. As the famous basketball star said, you only miss a thousand shots if you suck at shooting. Have fun gambling, my friends. Thanks for watching.